Assalamualaikum and hi students. This is the post lab session for experiment 3, determination of the molar mass of a metal. Since uh, today, 16th uh, September is a public holiday, so this is the material for the replacement class as a guideline for you to uh, calculate the molar mass of a metal. Alright, so this is the learning outcome. Right, learning outcomes for the experiment where uh, in the previous uh, session or lesson uh, during the practical class, you have already uh, standardized the hydrochloric acid solution and you have data. Okay, you have uh, data to in order to determine the molar mass of the alkaline earth metal by back titration method. Okay, so you have data. This data uh, in this video only example for you all right so you have to refer to your lab report uh, to settle uh, the calculation all right so in this experiment okay the concentration of sodium hydroxide used is 1.0 molar and the volume of hydrochloric acid uh, in uh, part a where you do the titration is 25 milliliter okay and previously you have uh, done the titration Terbanyak empat kali termasuk gross. So you have uh, you repeat the titration three times. Okay, uh, you telah ulang uh, titration itu sebanyak tiga kali in order to determine the accurate uh, reading. First of all, you have to determine the volume of sodium hydroxide used, where you have to uh, use final reading minus initial reading. Right? For example, here uh, in the first uh, reading for gross reading, we the, uh, the volume of sodium hydroxide is 24.30 milliliter. Yeah. Right. Uh, you have to record as two decimal places. The next reading, reading one, 24.20 milliliter. And the, the next reading, uh, the second reading, 24.10 milliliter. And the third reading is 23.90. So, determine the average, okay, you have to determine the average Tunjukkan pengiraan uh, purata, right? So, we will use this data uh, Data is uh, reading 1, reading 2 and reading 3 Okay, so from my calculation uh, The average volume is 24.7 milliliter Okay, you tunjukkan pengiraan So, do not run off the reading uh, Since uh, the volume of sodium hydroxide is recorded from the view rack. In view rack ni kita kena record sebanyak 2 decimal places. Uh, jadi kena record sebagai 2 decimal places untuk average juga ya. Yeah? Okay next. Right. You have this data. Okay, kalau you lihat dalam you punya experiment atau follow report are provided. You ada contoh lebih kurang macam ni datanya. Where you have the mass of uh, metal for sample 1. You have the mass of metal for sample 2 uh, for part B. Okay. Uh, jadi part A itu tadi apa yang you buat, you under, uh, you lakukan standardization of hydrochloric acid solution. Kita dah bincang minggu lepas kan. Okay, jadi during the standardization of hydrochloric acid solution, uh, secara puratanya average sodium hydroxide yang kita gunakan adalah 24.07 ml. Okay, right. Jadi ni sekarang, uh, you continue the experiment with part B. Okay, di mana you akan lakukan reaction of metal M with hydrochloric acid Tapi sebelum itu kalau you ingat you telah timbang uh, each metals Right, okay And then you lakukan uh, titration, back titration Okay, uh, antara metal ni tadi okay, back, uh, Metal ni tadi kita dissolve dalam hydrochloric acid Lepas tu kita lakukan uh, back titration Okay, and then you have lebih kurang macam ni data dalam lab report awak Okay, so determine the volume of sodium hydroxide used. Uh, same uh, like before, final reading minus initial reading. So for this part, for example, I have 20.40. 20 and for sample 2, we have 20.20 milliliter. Alright. Okay, so settle with uh, data. And now we are going to continue with calculation in order to determine the molar mass of metal. Untuk mendapatkan molar mass of metal ini, kita ada banyak perkara yang kita kena buat lah eh. uh, Beberapa step for calculation Right, the first one we will start with uh, Determine the molarity of the standard hydrochloric acid solution So, remember in part A, 
you standardize the hydrochloric acid solution you are going to reconfirm the concentration of hydrochloric acid uh, used or prepared dalam eksperimen itu so kita nak confirm kan nak reconfirm semula uh, and determine the accurate concentration of hydrochloric acid so in order to determine the molarity of the standard hydrochloric acid solution you need a balanced chemical equation so in part A what happened in uh, what happened the reaction occurred between hydrochloric acid aqueous okay react with sodium hydroxide aqueous produces okay uh, sodium chloride which is salt aqueous state and uh, water which is in liquid phase right okay so now in order to determine the molarity of sodium hydroxide use okay kalau kita lihat kat sini we don't know the molarity of hydrochloric acid but we know the volume of hydrochloric acid alright which is 25 ml in each uh, conical flask okay but for sodium hydroxide provided to you the molarity is uh, 0 sorry uh, 1.0 okay 1.0 molar and the volume of sodium hydroxide datang daripada average tadi okay for from my readings, okay, sebagai contoh, my readings, uh, the average is uh, 24.07 uh, milliliter. So, we want to determine the concentration or molarity of hydrochloric acid. So, since we have the data or information uh, of sodium hydroxide, jadi kita akan tentukan moles of sodium hydroxide first. Okay, mole of sodium hydroxide by using MV or MV per 1000. So, kalau saya guna MV, maksudnya saya dah tukar volume ini terus kepada liter. So, let's say saya terus guna MV. So, here I have 1.0 molar is mole per liter. Okay, times uh, 0 0.02407 liter. So, you can see here the unit of liter cancel. So, the mole of sodium hydroxide is 0 0.0240 mole. Okay. So, now uh, you have to relate it stoichiometrically. Jadi, kita akan relate secara stoichiometry. Okay. Jadi, nak buat stoichiometry tu kita kena buat sedikit uh, relationship. Right. So, from the equation, 1 mole of sodium hydroxide Okay, reacts or needs one mole uh, hydrochloric acid. This is come from the balanced chemical equation. But now you have 0 0.02407 mole sodium hydroxide. Okay, so therefore if you have 0 0.02407, uh, sorry, 0 0.02407 mole of sodium hydroxide, of course, you need 0 0.02407 mole of hydrochloric acid. Okay, so we have the mole of hydrochloric acid and now we can determine the, we will continue the calculation uh, by de determining the concentration of hydrochloric acid. Okay, kita dah ada mole, kita tahu volume dia tadi kalau kita tengok kat sini. Okay, saya bulatkan eh. Volume kat sini untuk hydrochloric acid is 25 milliliter. So now continue with uh, concentration. So molarity, right? Molarity of hydrochloric acid is mole divided by volume in liter. So we have 0 0.02407 mole of hydrochloric acid divided by 0 0.0250 liter. Okay. So, we will get uh, around, ke around, uh, so saya ambil ini 0 0.9628 uh, mol per liter of molar. So, this is the concentration of standardized, okay, standardized hydrochloric acid solution. Okay. So, bila kita dah ada uh, concentration hydrochloric acid yang accurate, yang kita dah reconfirm, yang standardized tu tadi. Okay. Uh, jadi, kita boleh continue with uh, the next part. Okay. Uh, jadi, the next part ni kita nak kira molar mass tapi banyak lagi lah proses yang kita kena uh, consider kat situ. Yang kita kena buat. Alright. Okay. So, next. Okay. We are going to determine the number of moles of hydrochloric acid in 
25 ml of standard solution. Okay, kalau you masih ingat, in, uh, okay, uh, in part A, kita memang guna 25 ml tu. Okay, jadinya sekarang, uh, kalau you lihat di sini, okay, saya gambarkan. Okay, in the conical flask, okay, you masukkan. Okay, you pipet. Okay, kat dalam ni, uh, 25 ml, okay, uh, 0.9628 mula. Okay, mana datang ni daripada pengiraan ni tadi. Uh, yang ni eh. Okay, uh, jadi uh, kita lakukan standardization. Okay, uh, kita dapat konsentrasi yang ini. So, this is HCL solution. Okay, tapi for the next part, untuk kita lakukan uh, reaction with metal, kita masih lagi uh, pipet 25ml acid yang sama. Okay, uh, jadi sekarang how many moles in this conical flask? Uh, by using mole of hydrochloric acid solution which is equal to MV, so uh, molarity is 0.9628 mole per litre. Okay, times 0 0.0250 liter. So, you will get the number of mole in this conical flask. Okay, sebelum dia kita lakukan tindak balas tu dengan uh, metal is 0 0.02407 mole HCl. Okay, apa maksudnya? This is the mole of hydrochloric acid available. Ini adalah mole hydrochloric acid yang available. Okay, sebelum dia react with metal, kita ada banyak ini. Okay, so now continue the calculation. Okay, in order to determine the number of moles of unreacted acid. Okay, kalau kita uh, imbas kembali apa yang berlaku, kita uh, dah timba metal tu. Okay, kita dah timba metal tu and then kita masukkan dalam uh, conical flask sample 1. And then sample 2, kita swirl sampai metal itu dissolve. Okay, you have to refer to the procedures. Okay, jadi ketika itu, hydrochloric acid reacted with the metal. Okay, but now you are going to determine the number of moles of unreacted hydrochloric acid in sample 1. Uh, yang available ada banyak ni. Okay, uh, jadi kita kena uh, tengok yang reacted terlebih dahulu baru kita boleh kira yang unreacted. Maksudnya yang excess hydrochloric acid. Okay, so firstly, uh, kita... Uh, lakukan back titration tu. Maksudnya kita gunakan sodium hydroxide juga. So, you have to determine the mole of sodium hydroxide by using MV. Okay, so the sodium hydroxide uh, prepared or provided is 1.0 mole per liter. Okay, concentration dia 1.0 molar. And then the volume of sodium hydroxide for sample 1. Okay, mana nak cari ni? Awak tengok dekat result awak. Okay, awak tengok dekat result yang ini. Ah, uh, Okay, you tengok dekat result yang sini. Untuk sample 1. So, this is the volume of sodium hydroxide. Okay, for sample 1. Okay, now continue. Okay, so, this uh, times with 0 0.0204 liter. Okay, so you will get the moles of uh, sodium hydroxide is 0 0.0204. 2.04 mol. So this is for sodium hydroxide. Okay, tapi kita kena cari dulu moles of hydrochloric acid reacted. So you have to refer to the equation. Okay, you could refer pada equation. Ah, jadi equation kita adalah one mol of sodium hydroxide reacts with okay, ah uh, one mol of hydrochloric acid. Okay, if you have 0 0.0204 mole uh, sodium hydroxide, okay, it will react with 0 0.0204 mole hydrochloric acid. Okay, so this is the reacted hydrochloric acid yang bertindak balas banyak ni. Okay, jadi sekarang we can determine the mole of hydrochloric acid unreacted. Yang tidak bertindak balas tu maksudnya yang excess lah. Okay, so available tadi kita ada berapa? Kita ada banyak ni. 0.02407 mole. Okay, so 0.02407 mole minus yang reacted. Okay, minus 0.0204 
mole uh, hydrochloric acid reacted. So you will get around 3.67 times 10 to the power of negative 3 mole. Okay, so this is the mass, uh, sorry, the mole of unreacted hydrochloric acid. Alright, so you have to do the same uh, procedures or same method with sample 2. Okay, so let's do it together. Alright, for sample 2, okay, find the mole of sodium hydroxide first. Okay, the mole of sodium hydroxide for sample 2 from my calculation, for, from my data. Okay, I have... Okay, it is equal to MV. Okay, so 1.0 mole per liter times the volume of sodium hydroxide for second sample. Okay, you tengok pada you punya data berapa. So, mine is 0 0.02020 uh, liter. Okay, so I will get um, around... Zi, uh, buka round Memang ni pun jawapannya 0 0.02020 mole sodium hydroxide Ok So kita cari dulu We have to determine the mole of hydrochloric acid reacted So from the equation When hydrochloric acid react with sodium hydroxide So refer to the balance equation 1 mole of sodium hydroxide Ok reacts with 1 mole of hydrochloric acid Ok Alright D4 0 0.02020 mole sodium hydroxide reacts with 0 0.02020 mole uh, hydrochloric acid. So, sama macam tadi, this is the reacted hydrochloric acid. Okay, so now continue with mole of hydrochloric acid unreacted which is in excess. Okay, available we have uh, 0 0.02407 mole Okay, available saya dah kira tadi ke depan Okay, minus yang reacted Which is 0 0.02020 mole Alright, so you will get around 3.87 Okay, times 10 to the power of negative 3 mole Unreacted hydrochloric acid So, in order to determine the molar mass Ah uh, Later on, kita akan gunakan, we will use this mole. Okay. Unreacted tu. Ah, kita akan guna yang tu lah. Ah, kita akan, maksudnya kita akan relate. Bukan kita terus guna. You are going to relate this mole. Right? Okay. So, next, continue. Okay. Alright, sorry. Okay. We are going to determine number of moles of reacted metal. Tadi moles of unreacted hydrochloric acid. And now we are going to determine the number of moles of reacted metal. How many moles of metal M reacted with the acid? So we need to refer to the balance chemical equation. And there is a clue given to you. M is alkaline as metal which form two positive charge ion. So this is a clue uh, from the procedures, uh, from the introduction. So you have to write the general equation. We have M uh, which is in solid state. Reacts with hydrochloric acid in aqueous phase. Okay, it will produce MCl2 aqueous and of course water, salt and water. Okay, sorry, so hydrogen gas because this is a reaction between metal and uh, acid hydrogen gas. So you have to balance the chemical equation. So two here. Alright, uh, okay, settle. Okay, so by referring to this equation, we know the moles of uh, unreacted acid ada mole of unreacted hydrochloric acid and we are going to determine how many moles of M. Uh, so, by referring to this equation, 2 mole of hydrochloric acid reacts with 1 mole of M metal. Therefore, uh, you have, okay, okay, so if you refer here, okay, uh, if you have 3.67 times 10 to the power of negative 3 mole Sebab dia punya isunya kat sini Ataupun kalau you faham thorium First kita kita lakukan titration between uh, hydrochloric acid and sodium hydroxide Okay, alright And then uh, after that uh, we will continue the reaction Okay, with uh, reaction of metal tu kan uh, Metal, uh, metal M tu tadi 
okay, dengan akses uh, dengan akses tu lah maksudnya kita larutkan dulu hydrochloric acid dengan metal lepas tu kita buat back titration uh, jadi sekarang ni how many moles of M metal react with the acid uh, so ok sekejap ok so we have here uh, for sample 1 we have 3.67 times 10 to the power of negative 3 mole hydrochloric acid ok uh, so you tekan calculator buat perkadaran it will uh, react with 1.835 times 10 to the power of negative 3 mole of m ok so this is mole of m reacted alright ok same goes to sample number 2 ok uh, from the equation we have 2 mole of uh, hydrochloric acid reacts with 1 mole of metal M. Okay. Alright. Okay. So now, uh, if you have, if you have uh, 3.87 times 10 to the power of negative 3 mole hydrochloric acid datang daripada mana? So, this is mole of unreacted hydrochloric acid yang kita sambung pula lepas tu. Okay. Maksudnya, yang kita dia access metal M tu tadi dah habis. Ada banyak ni. So, kita nak cari balik berapa mole of M tu react. Okay, it will produce 1.935 times 10 to the power of negative 3 mole of M. So, you gunakan you punya data. You have to use your data uh, in the lab report. Okay. So, this is the uh, mole of M reacted. Okay. So, now we can continue the calculation. Okay. We can continue the calculation uh, in order to determine the molar mass of metal M in each sample. Okay. For the first sample, alright. So, kalau you lihat kat sini untuk first sample, uh, mole of M reacted is 1.835 times 10 to the power of negative 3 mole. Uh, so, we will use this value. Okay. How? How we are going to determine the molar mass of metal M? So, we know that uh, mole, mole of any uh, substance is mass divided by molar mass. Right, so we are going to determine the molar mass. Kita nak cari molar mass. But we have the mass and we have the mole. Uh, so, uh, kita kena buat satu perkaitan or perkadaran. Okay. 1.835 times 10 to the power of negative 3 mole equivalent with mass of sample 1. Okay, maksudnya sample 1 kita tu, kita ada data mass sample 1. How many mole? Berapa berat dia? So, this is the mole. So, 1.835 times 10 to the power of 93 mole is equivalent to 0.0438 gram. Okay, ini datang daripada mana? Datang daripada mass of metal M untuk sampel 1. Therefore, since molar mass, okay, disebabkan molar mass ni, unit dia adalah gram per mole. We are going to determine the uh, mass if I have 1 mole of metal M. Therefore, if I have one mole of metal M, okay, one mole of M lah kat sini eh, okay, how many grams? Maksudnya satu mole ini dia equivalent dengan berapa gram? So, I don't want the mole, so saya kena bahagikan dengan 1.835 darab 10 kuasa negatif 3 mole, okay, times 0.0438 grams. So, this is just as an example. Uh, just an example. Okay. So, for this case, I will get around 23.896 gram per mole. So, this is the molar mass of metal M for sample 1. Do the same method for sample 2. Okay. For sample 2, okay, you tengok tadi mass of uh, reacted, sorry, uh, moles of uh, reacted metal okay uh, from the previous calculation we have 1.935 times 10 to the power of negative 3 mole okay which is equivalent in mass of sample 2 okay berapa mass sample 2 0 0.0429 gram if I have one mole of metal M okay Okay, it contains in how many grams? Ha, maksudnya, kalau satu mol ni dia 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 equivalent dengan berapa gram? 
So, divide by 1.935 times 10 to the power of negative 3 mole times 0.0429 gram. Okay, you will get around 22.17 gram per mole. Uh, so, kalau saya salah kira nanti, betulkan lah ya. Okay, jadi kita sudah ada uh, molar mass for M for each sample, sample 1 and sample 2. Now, continue the calculation by using, uh, by determining the average molar mass. Okay, so from my calculation, the first sample, the molar mass of the first sample is 23.869 okay, gram per mole plus for the second, uh, the second uh, reading is 22.17. Okay, one seven. Okay, let me check first. Okay, saya check dulu bacaan yang tadi ni. Okay, zero point zero four two nine divided by one point nine three five power power of negative three. Okay, so kat sini saya boleh ambil tujuh kosong eh. Okay, so divide by 2. So, the unit is gram per mole. So, from my calculation, the average molar mass is around 22.5195 gram per mole. Okay. So, saya boleh ambil lah 22.52 gram per mole. Okay. So, in your lab report, Okay, uh, the question asks you to compare the result with elements in the periodic table. Okay, uh, so bila you compare the metal M is, okay, the clue given to you in the lab report is M is an alkaline as metal. So, we have to refer to group 2 element. Jadi, dari pengiraan saya ni, saya dapati molar mass average secara puratanya 22.52 gram per mole. Okay, so now, okay, kalau saya tengok element from group 2 ni, Okay, yang very close adalah magnesium juga. Uh, so, from my calculation, uh, element M is magnesium. Okay, uh, sebab dia punya nilai ini closest to this one. Okay, alright. Jadi, continue the discussion. Alright, continue the discussion. Okay, alright. From the calculation, okay, the average molar mass of M is uh, how many grams? So, you letakkan kat sini lah. For example, my in my case is 22.515. Uh, uh, okay, berapa tadi? Okay, sekejap. Uh, 5.2 eh. Saya ambil yang ni lah. Okay, 5.2 gram per mole. Therefore, the value of the average molar mass of M metal obtained from the experiment, experiment is closest to the molar mass of magnesium. Ha, tadi saya dah bincangkan. Okay, which is 24, if you refer to the periodic table in internet, okay, lebih kurang lah 24.31 uh, tadi eh. Let me check. 24.305. Okay, boleh lah. 3.1 gram per mole. So, metal M is an apa? Alkaline. Alkaline earth. Metal, which is located in the third period, okay, bukan three period, third period, S block at group two. So since we know from uh, the calculation, sebagai contoh, from my calculation, it is closest to magnesium. So the electronic configuration of M metal used is one S two, two S two, two P six, three S two. All right, okay. Jadinya sekarang, apa yang you perlu buat adalah uh, lengkapkan you punya lab report and then lengkapkan uh, errors ke sini and write the conclusion. Okay, and please submit your lab report uh, tomorrow. Paling lambat tomorrow, uh, Jumaat uh, 11.59 pm. Okay, and don't forget to keep in your attendance for today. Alright, okay class, thank you.